Hey peeps, new day, new algorithm challenge, and today's one is circular array rotation. John Watson knows of an operation called a right circular rotation on an array of integers. One rotation operation moves the last array element to the first position and just all remaining elements to the right by one. To test Sherlock's abilities, Watson provides Sherlock with an array of integers. Sherlock is to perform, to perform the rotation operation a number of times, then determine the value of the element at a given position. Okay, so for each array, perform a number of right circular rotations and return the value of the element at a given index. So for example, we have an array of 3, 4, 5 and two rotations. Indices are 1 and 2, so that means with the original array we have 1 and 2 would be 4 and 5, but after the rotation it's actually 5 and 3, and that's what we want to return. Okay, and then we have quite a few, like a million, uh, a million elements in our array. We have a million indices. No, that's the, um, yeah, no, a million, up to a million of the value itself. Alrighty. Okay, let's, uh, let's try. Let's try this. I think the first thing we want to do is what if is what if k is bigger than a count, right? What if k the rotation is bigger, which means if we have an area of 10 and the rotation is 11, if we rotate 10 times, we are back at the original array and then we rotate it by 1, which is in reality we're just rotating by 1. In that case, we want to basically say um, the actual rotation is 1 in that case, so then if k is bigger than a count, right, is it a count or is it a count minus 1? I think it's a count. Yeah, so that means uh, we say a, uh, we say k modulo a count else it's just k, because then it's smaller. So we got the actual rotation here. I think the starting position of our indice now is moved from the right end of the array by the amount of r to the left, since that's the, basically what we're putting there. So that means we could say the uh, actual index, starting index, whatever you want to call it, is a count minus one, because that's the, right? Uh, and then minus r. That's the actual index. Yeah, so then let's say our result is r, which is queries, map, and now we want to map all the indices to an integer, uh, which is the value at that indice in our rotated array. Okay, uh, which means if, for example, i plus ai is bigger than, I'll say, let's say, um, var index. That's all now our index in the rotated array. So let's say um, ai plus i. If index is bigger than a count minus one, if it's not bigger, that means we should be able to access it right away. We should be able to say return a at index else we should do something about it. And now, what are we doing about it? Um, if it's bigger, then I think we want to, yeah, we want to remove um, the count of it. So index minus a count. And let me think if it's a count or a count minus one, because we're talking index. I think it's count. Because if I think about, for example, if index is six and we have just five elements, um, in there, we have six elements in there, right? Uh, which is an index of five, which we have like a count minus one is an index of five. If index is six, which means we want the next after, it's at index zero, we don't want the one. So we are not uh, saying six minus, uh, say, five, which is then one, and then we are at the second position. We want actually six minus six, which is zero. Let's run this and try. Var r conflicts with the previous. What am I doing? Okay, 
um, whoops, I wanted Q. And then in the end, obviously I want to return Q as well as an answer. Uh, we can shorten all of that a little bit to make it tighter as well and run it again. Damn, wrong answer. My output is one, two, three, when I expected output was two, three, one. Hmm. I think literally the test case, if I look down here, is the same as here, right? It's the same three, two, um, there we go. It's basically that one, which means, it basically means the rotation, like we have an array of three, rotation is two, and we have a queries of three. Right, so area of three, queries of three, three, and rotation by two. Three, two, three. If we are rotating one, two, three by two, let's see, we have, um, so two is not bigger than a count, which is three, right? Uh, that means that we are stuck with two. And a count minus one is two, minus r is zero, is our starting index position which is one, and it should be actually not minus one here. There we go. Okay, submit. It's running a little bit too long. Let's try and minimize it and see if we have anything. No, we don't, it's still running. All righty. Should I run the code here once again and see? What we could do is instead of storing it in a variable, we could just return it right away. That's even shorter. Let's run it once more. All right, yes, submit it. Awesome! That worked, congrats, you've earned your fourth star and we reached the new level too. Uh, great, hey, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me and this channel and this format, all you need to do is hit like, that really helps out a lot. And also you can subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the next challenge, which will be tomorrow. See you then.